All right, welcome to this daily horoscope for Wednesday, March 11th. My name is Anthony. All right, so we have a very, very powerful day today. The energies are very high. We've got the Uranus Pluto square exact, has been exact for the past couple of days. But now we have Mars going exact over Uranus, really activating the whole uh, aspect between these two uh, very powerful planets. And we are just entering the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, adding to that energy, and the moon is going into Scorpio today as well. So a lot happening. So let's start by looking at the overall picture. So we've had this Uranus-Pluto square activity for the past few years, changing our life. There's been restructuring taking place perhaps to our spirituality with the uh, Uranus and Pisces and perhaps to our life path and our purpose and our direction with uh, Pluto and Sagittarius. So there's been this restructuring and now this is the final aspect this month for the next two weeks of this aspect and once it's done, it's done and we'll be moving forward. Whatever's been integrated will have been integrated. So today's important because we have Mars, a very powerful personal planet, going over that Uranus, activating mostly the Uranus energy from this. So there's a tremendous amount of freedom trying to seek its way through. Change, there's change that can happen in our life. Now with this aspect, sometimes it can be literally like today, you might notice something surprising or something coming out of the blue or something that's changing in your external environment that might create a situation where you'll have to act and take action. But for most of us, it's because it's such a general reading, it's an opportunity for us to put energy in action, that Mars energy into change into our life. And that's exactly what we want to do. Now there's some cautions of the day because it is a square and we are talking about Mars and Uranus. And that is taking it nice and slow and using this constructive energy in a very uh, productive sort of way. It's a great time right now, today, tomorrow, this whole week to set new goals, new ambitions, start new projects, anything that helps channel in this, uh, this energetic, uh, active energy into something. That's what we want to essentially utilize. But I feel like it's to a, a large degree, a lot of these major shifts and changes that have been unfolding over the past few years. So putting that energy into something, working it out, putting it you know, into a project or something like this would be the best utilization of this energy in particular. One thing I want to caution against too is because we do have a square up to Pluto involving Mars, watch any uh, ego energies, ego conflicts, your ego getting too attached or uh, trying to uh, control the situation. You want to be very observant right now, especially with the lunar cycle because uh, the moon is squaring up to Mercury and getting very close to Saturn today. We're actually going to have a conjunction with Saturn and the moon in the evening for those of us in the States, in America. So with this being said, I think as long as you're coming from compassion, you're watching your ego, your ego's in check, you're not making any rash, de rash decisions, and you're channeling this energy in the most productive way possible, then I think you're getting the most out of this transit. So I think that's my greatest advice for the day, uh, specifically around um, taking it slow, especially with Saturn. I think there is uh, this sort of Today in particular, there might be this energy of responsibility, feeling like there's a lot to do perhaps, or there's a lot coming at us. So take it nice and slow. Don't be hard on yourself. Be there for yourself. And um, with this moon in Scorpio, it's about being compassionate with yourself and others. Scorpio, once we strip away all of the external environment, all the external elements of our life, we get at the core of Scorpio, which is the truth, the honesty, the depth, the meaning, the true meaning of what life is about. So connect to that, be open, be truthful with yourself and others, be raw, be transparent, be vulnerable, and that'll be utilizing this lunar energy the best. Watch any overthinking, um, watch any subjective thinking, imposing your views on others with that square up to Mercury. Not a huge highlight there, but still a caution. And uh, be willing to try something new. Be willing to put this energy into something productive. That's the best utilization of this. All right, so let's go and draw a card, see what Spirit has in store for us for today. Okay, Scorpio. Notice she's dotted in the color red, and this is about the root chakra. And that's what Scorpio in many ways symbolizes, is embracing our instinctual nature. We have it all. We have the envy. We have the jealousy. We have the anger. We have the passion. We have the love. We have the etc. We've got all the whole rainbow as hue man. We have the whole hue of colors, of emotions, of all our areas and elements of self. And this includes the instinctual elements, the lower elements of self. 
So when I see Scorpio, I feel like it's a reminder, especially with the moon here, to embrace all aspects of self, including the lower, quote, lower aspects, the human aspects of yourself, and, um, and move forward from there. Perhaps this is a reminder from spirit to embrace that, to see that, to step into that. And once we have that holistic whole perspective on being, that's where we step into our greatest spiritual power and greatest spiritual change. All right, everyone, have a fantastic day. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and I will see you next time. Take care.